Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Vivian and I'm a data scientist based in Sydney, Australia. So last week I uploaded a video on some of my favorite resources to learn SQL or SQL, which is a key part of any data related role. As I've said many times in my previous videos, I think that it is the one language that all of you guys should learn, regardless of what profession you're working in. So today's video is going to be a sequel to my previous video, no <laughs> pun intended there, and cover off the key commands that you have to know in SQL, as well as demonstrate how they're used in action. So hopefully the way that I explain things are relatively straightforward. Um, you guys don't need to know SQL before this in order to learn something from my video. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So firstly, we've got select and from, which pretty much form the basis of every SQL command. Basically, you select which variables you want to see from whichever table. Um, as an example, if you want to see what's in a particular table, you could do select star from that table name, and that'll give you every single column that is in that particular table. Um, you have no control over what is being selected. Whatever is in the database will just be outputted. So as an example here, we're doing select star from patient list table, which will show you all the columns in this table. As you can see, there is patient ID, physician name, age, height, and weight. You can also explicitly name the columns that you want to see. So in this example here, we are only selecting patient ID and age. And as you can see, the output only displays these two particular columns. You can also rename variables. So here we are renaming age to patient underscore age. And we can also create additional variables. Here we are creating an additional variable called patient and it's named test underscore variable. And in addition, we can use a limit function following our select and from to limit the number of rows which are shown. So right now we are doing limit 10, which will show the top 10 results in your output. Okay. So now that we've got the basics of SQL down with the SELECT and FROM command, it's time to add in some additional commands to spice up our query. So we're working with a table which is essentially a list of patients. Let's say that we want to filter this table a bit further and only select for patients who are under the age of 30. We can do SELECT STAR from the table patient underscore list and include an additional condition where age is less than 30. As you can see from the output, the only rows which are left consist of patients under the age of 30. Now in this WHERE condition, you can also combine a bunch of other operators to further filter out your data. Let's go through them now. Firstly, we can use the AND operator, where you can query for a combination of conditions. So for example, we have age less than 30 and physician last name equals Smith will give you all the patients under 30 that the physician Smith is seeing. Next, we've got the OR operator, where you can query for either of many conditions. So for example, where age is less than 30 or age greater than 60 will either give you the younger or the older patients. We can also use the IN operator to select a bunch of physicians that you were interested in looking at. So for example, selecting where physician last name in brackets Smith or Honeydew will show you all the patients that either physician Smith or Honeydew are seeing. This can also be combined with a not statement where physician last name is not in Smith or Honeydew to show all the other patients that every other physician is seeing. The between function also works. So as an example, where ages between 30 and 60 will give you every single patient in the record whose age is somewhere between 30 and 60. There is also the like operator, which is sort of like a wildcard text matching function and is slightly more advanced. So as an example, if you want to look at every single physician whose surname does not contain the letter E, you can use where physician last name is not like E between two percentage signs. And that'll give you an output of every single physician that does not have E in their last name. And lastly, I wanna cover the null operator, where we can identify cases where a particular variable is missing. In this case, we can look at a few cases where the weight of the patient is null. 
As you can see, there are several rows where the patient's weight is missing. So now that we're familiar with how the where function works, it's time to continue learning SQL. The next command is order by. So this is when you have your output and you want to order it by a particular variable. So in this example here, we are doing order by patient age. So we're using order by age up to our from statement. So as you can see, the output has sorted every single patient in order from the smallest age to the largest age. Note that by default, order by sorts it in an ascending order, but you can also add in DESC after the word age to sort it by descending age. So another important part of SQL is its ability to aggregate your data together. Now what I mean by aggregate is calculating stuff like, you know, minimum, maximum, how many records appear, and what is the average. So the simplest aggregate function is count, which automatically counts the number of records. So we can also calculate the minimum age, the maximum age, or the average age to get the high level stats from a data set. As you can see, this is what this piece of code is doing. We are getting the number of rows, minimum age, maximum age, and average age. Now, this can also be used in conjunction with a group by where instead of looking at the entire data set, you might be interested in looking at this by every physician. So as you can see, physician Payne seems to have the youngest patients on average, whereas physician Smith seems to have the most number of patients. And now the last variable that I want to cover today is the having function, which is sort of like a where function, but on aggregate functions. So suppose that we only want to look at physicians with more than 12 patients. You would then do having count star more than 12 with an output of only the physicians with more than 12 patients, just like we wanted. So what we've just covered is pretty much most of the basic intermediate level SQL in any of the courses that I've mentioned in my previous video. So remember that the order in which we write our commands is really important as if you muck up the order, it's not gonna run any other way. So here is the order again for everything that you've learned so far. We always start off with a select, which is what we want. We can have a from, which is the table that you are selecting everything from. Then you can have a where condition, followed by a group by, followed by having, followed by order by. If that sounds confusing, let's put things into practice with one final example to wrap everything together. So let's go through this example in detail. The first row selects physician last name. The second row selects count star, which is essentially the number of patients and also renames the variable as number of patients. The third record selects average bracket age, which will just give you the average age. And this is being renamed as average age of patients. From is pretty straightforward. It is whatever table you're querying from. In this case, it is patient underscore list. Your fifth statement is where physician last name like E, which as we've said earlier, is sort of your wildcard matching and will give you every single physician who has an E in their last name. We can then group by one, which just means to group by your first variable. In this case, the first variable selected is physician last name. So you're grouping by the physician. The seventh line is doing having average age greater than 34, which means you are only selecting the physicians with an average age of their patients greater than 34. And finally, we are ordering by physician last name descending. As you can see here, the physician last name is going descending order. So from P all the way down to C. So this is an example of SQL in action using a whole bunch of commands into one separate query. Hopefully what we've covered in today's video wasn't too confusing. Um, make sure that if any of these areas are still confusing to you, go follow up on either w3schools or mode.com and focus more on those particular areas. I really do think that SQL is a super important language that you guys need to learn in order to do well in any kind of data related role. So hopefully this video has helped you out or given you a quick 
I guess, high level overview or revision into sequel concepts. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye.